Hey guys, welcome back to my RPGs, my series of RPGs, my favorite RPGs for PlayStation 4. This is the uh, third video and the third collection I have for the RPGs. The only one I'm missing from this series is the uh, Prelude to the Fallen, because it's worth a lot of money right now. Uh, and I did not get it when it came out. These I got when they came out. Uh, I pre-ordered all of these when they first came out, but now some of these are cheaper and some of these are expensive. Mostly this one is very expensive right now, just for a good bit. Uh, but I got these in time, and I beat, played and beat all of these. I'll probably be saying about every video I do for this series, as I have, and I went for the new installments or the next ones that come out to play and collect for the system. But let's get into this. This is a, I hope I say this right, this is a Yuta Morano series, I believe I pronounced that right, but this was the first one I played, these are a visual novel, or at least this one and this one, I think this is a uh, visual novel slash uh, uh, Dynasty Warriors type, Muso fighter, but these two are visual novel mixed with uh, tactical RPGs. And I would say about 50-50 on the tactical and visual novel. A lot of visual novel, a lot of uh, tactical RPG gameplay. But other than that, this one's pretty well done. And they had different, they are, this one is a continuation. I'm sorry, this one continues on into this one. And then this one, I believe, is a prequel or maybe a continuation to this one. I cannot remember. Prelude to the Fallen was the prequel to all this. And Monochrome Mobius, which comes out next month, in September, of course, will be the prequel to all of this. And the turn-based RPG, which is the first time this company has ever done a turn-based RPG with this series. Uh, that'll be next month. But I highly recommend this one. It was fun. Uh, the, the tactical combat was fun. Visual novel, I'm not too big on, but if you get past that, this is a fun game. This one's just more of the same. And this one right here kind of changes up a little bit. Like I said, Muso gameplay, but with visual novel. And it's not too bad either. Uh, it carries on the story from this one. And then this is the one where the story just stops. And then Origins, or Prelude to the Fallen, Origins Edition comes out after this, and that's a prequel to all of this. And then Monochromobius is going to be a prequel to every, uh, all the games in the series, which I have pre-ordered, so I can't wait to get that. But, uh, I recommend this one. Uh, this one's pretty good, and this one's alright as well. I played in the beat, uh, at least these two. I never beat this one. I played it halfway. I didn't send a visual novel. I tried to, but it's just too much. Uh, after you passed it, you do visual novels with these two. It just, it's just like I said, 50. Well, this was actually 60 40. 60% 60 visual novel and 40% tactical RPG. And this one is about the same. And this one was still, do what this was a lot of visual novels, like 70% visual novel and like 30% uh, gameplay but it's not too bad though I do enjoy this series and uh, you really can't find this anymore with this uh, version because this was in S America and uh, this version you can buy anywhere from like 17 to 18 dollars and this I'm not really sure this I have from Gamefly is on sale through them and uh, yeah that's how I was able to get this one I forgot what I paid for that, but um, I paid the retail price, retail price, and game five price for this. But anyway, guys, so that's the third video for the series. I'm hoping you're enjoying the series, and uh, I'm Weird Gamer 89. I'll see you next time. You always make each day such a special day. You know how? By just your being you. Only one person in the whole world like you. That's you yourself. I'll be back next time. Bye-bye.